Hello. In this edit, I'll show you how to create the popular butterfly effect in Superimpose X. So first we open up the application and I'm going to start off by creating an empty layer. I'm going to choose colors and it doesn't matter what background color it is. But if you start with colors, you will actually get the highest resolution possible with superimpose the image. So in this case, I'm choosing a horizontal layout, a 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. And I'm going to say choose. So I've got a, a gradated black background. So the next, I'm going to choose a flower layer. So I click on plus photo layer and choose a flower from uh, my library. I'm going to crop it a little bit because uh, we don't need the whole amount and I'll say choose. And now what I want to do is I want to mask the flower. So I go to mask and I choose my magic lasso and I'm just going to start tracing the borders as you can see the magic lasso happens to be my favorite masking tool uh, for masking out a subject because it does a pretty good job of edge detection. So let's see how well we do. I'm tracing out the outlines. I'm not being too picky because I'm hoping that the tool will analyze and figure out the edges for me. I close the loop and click check. And there we have the flower outline which looks acceptable. Next, I want to get a background image. So I click on layers. I click on plus photo layer. And I'm just going to click a picture of, uh, in this case, some uh, lake or something like that. And I've got the background layer. I can go transform fit to base and I've got the layer. Now I'm going to just slide the flower on top of the background. So we've got it looking like that. I also select the, I notice the flower layer is selected. So I'm just going to slide it into position uh, somewhere here at the bo bottom right. That looks okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, maybe blur the background layer. So I click on the background layer and I click on filter blur and I increase the blur radius. So I've got a blurred background and the flower is sharp. That looks nice. I again click on my layers and I create now a empty layer. So I click on plus and choose empty layer and I go to transform fit to base. Now I'm going to editor and I'm going to brush. I'm going to actually choose the effects brush which has got some sparkles around it and I'm going to scroll and I'm going to choose the butterfly, which is number 10. And if I click on my settings, I can see, uh, I can adjust the brush size here. Uh, and I can also select the color of the brush. The color is actually not important in this particular situation because we are really using the butterfly brush only to get a mask or outline of the butterfly. The colors won't matter. So now I can start 
painting some butterflies here and then I could increase the brush size a little bit and do some more butterflies uh, swirl them around till it looks interesting maybe increase the brush size some more and paint some larger butterflies like that so now we have butterflies on the empty layer next what I'm going to do is uh, click check to accept the uh, painted layer and I'm going to my layers and I go to my the flower layer and I'm going to duplicate the layer so I click on the layer and I say duplicate uh, so I've uh, got a duplicate of the flower layer and now uh, what I want to do is go to editor and go to distort and go to warp and I'm going to actually mask a portion of the flower that I don't want to distort so I can just mask it out and, and accept the mask and now I'm going to it's selected as coarse so I can actually start to warp the flower by sliding my and as you can see here the more I slide uh, the more I can make the flower distorted in the shape of the butterflies that I had traced out before so I've got the butterflies all covered with the flower and uh, I'm going to accept the warp and now what I go to is my layer stack and I'm going to bring the warped layer on top of the butterfly layer so that it's hidden and I go to mask and I choose clip up at this point you can see that the butterflies that were painted below they the outlines of them have been masked out uh, on the warped layer and I've got these yellow butterflies flying around so now what I want to do is I want to hide the complete uh, or I want to go to the flower layer that I have in the bottom here and I want to erase some of the so I'll select the flower layer and I want to erase a little bit of the flower where the butterflies originate from so I click on my mask and I'm just going to choose the regular brush I'm going to settings and I'll choose a feathered brush uh, make it a slightly larger and I'm just going to start erasing the the flower there the edges are not very effect effectively done but you can see basically what's happening here is it looks like the and uh, I'm not happy with the edges so I'm going to click on restore and just put back some of the flower but now we have a flower which is disintegrating into a butterfly and then we have a blurred background at this point it's just a matter of tweaking the layers uh, so, so that it uh, looks maybe more uh, contrasty and interesting so I'll go to layers I'm going to choose the background layer and I'll click on filter basic I'll reduce the exposure to make it darker so that the butterflies stand out more I can reduce the exposure increase the contrast or decrease it as a see fit etc and once you're ready with the image if you want you can crop it further or simply go to export the image out to your camera roll and there you have it that's the butterfly
tutorial in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.